How's it going, friends? It's Robert Eddie K here, and I know uh, you guys are probably wondering, Robert, this last week, what the fuck? What the heck happened? You were posting a video every other day, and then this last week you sort of dropped the ball. Well, I'm really sorry. And if you follow me on Twitter, then you would have heard all my complaining. I had a lot of schoolwork this last week, and I really just had to focus on that. Unfortunately, I couldn't do YouTube. Uh, remember, I'm in school until April, so. You have to bear with me on stuff like that, I'm sorry. Anyways, 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 anyways guys, I do have a ton of stuff planned now. I know I've got like five or six videos I need to film over the next few days and then start working on those. You guys have a lot to look forward to, so don't worry. I'm sorry about this last week. I was very busy with school, but that's over now. We good. Just in case anything like this happens again, which I'm sure it will at some point, uh, you guys should really follow me on Twitter so that you know what's going on and this doesn't happen again or you, you aren't confused at least when it does happen again. Anyways, cool cool news. I'm officially in the Wonderwall fanfiction. It's a Septiplier fanfiction. One of the best gosh darn fanfictions you'll ever find. I am in chapter 67. Robert Eddie K makes a legit appearance, and I read most of it already. I'm just gonna read a little bit of it for fun, cause why not? That would be a good time, right? It's not anything uncomfortable, it's not anything like super weird or anything. But you know what? It's pretty cool! We did it guys, we're, we're, we are in fan fiction. It ain't just me, cause would I be in this fan fiction without you guys? Probably not. So... <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Move some cables away on the floor. Do I need to set the mood? No, I don't. I don't care. All right. So remember, this is a Septiplier, Mark and Jack fanfiction, and I make an appearance in it. So for a little bit, there's going to be a lot of Mark and Jack stuff, and then, then you'll get to the good shit. I'm just kidding. You'll get to the Robert E.K. stuff. All right. I think this is from Jack's point of view. I rested my head on Mark's shoulder and sighed. We had a 17-hour journey up to Seattle, and we'd only been driving for three hours. In that time, I'd done a big reply spree on, on Twitter, stalked people's deviant art, and caught up on Mark's latest videos. I opened up Twitter and tweeted out to the people that were currently online. All right, so now Jack Septica tweets. Uh, got a super long journey up to Seattle. Tweet me things I can watch. Ha happy face. I waited for the replies and scrolled through them, watching the little vines people were sending me and smiling. Considering people only had seven seconds to make something, some of the creativity they had was incredible! I continued to scroll and stopped when I saw a tweet from someone with a link to a song called Septiplier Away. That's cool. That's a cool name for a song. I wonder what it's about. I wonder who made it. I bet they're cool. I clicked on the link and my YouTube opened up, so I took an earphone out and nudged Mark, holding it out to him. Someone's just sent me this. He took... He took two earphone from me. I guess he took an earphone from me. And placed it in his ear, waiting for me to press start on the video. A steady beat started playing, and a clip of me and Mark appeared on the screen, which then transitioned into a guy sat at a table with a red hat on doodling something on paper. Oh, shit. Steady beat started playing, and a clip of me and Mark appeared on the screen, which then transitioned into a guy sat at a table with a red hat on doodling something on paper. As the keyboard kicked in, Mark began nodding his head along to the music and the name Robert IDK came on the screen. Oh, cool. I looked to Mark to see if he recognized him, but he shook his head and t returned his gaze to the video. I don't, I don't recognize this guy. He, uh, he must be a newcomer into the YouTube game. Who dat? Who dat? Who, who, who dat? Motherfucker. This is actually really good, I chuckled. Mark nodded and we both smiled at the chorus. This song was written really well and I was extremely impressed. Thank, thanks, guys. We both ended up singing along and laughing as the song came to an end, but we remained silent as Rob started talking. Ooh, they're, they're good listeners. Once he'd ended the video, we turned to each other with a grin. Aw, oh, see, it, is it a grin like, like this one? That is gonna be all blurry and shit? Yeah, that's, that's the drawing from the video. In case you guys didn't know. That was actually really good. I've never heard it before. I laughed. I- oh, sorry. That was actually really good. I've never heard it before. <laughs> I agree. He's done another one for Pute. Look, Mark said, scrolling over to it and clicking play. We both sat back and watched this, laughing at a few of the clips and raising an eyebrow at the insomnia lyrics. Maybe I'm missing something. I like that bit. It's very well written, I said, dance along, dancing along to the song. Once it finished, I moved and clicked on the subscribe button. Fuck yeah! Actually, let me go check. 
No, Jack has not subscribed to me, and unfortunately. I could see big things for this guy. He had a lot of potential. I copied his link and decided to text Felix about the guy. The, the guy. And decided to... T t dec ah! Decided to text Felix about the guy. That would be awesome. Jack, you should you should text Pewds about this this guy. Ro roll it. If, uh... Felix X X X X X. Ooh, buddy, you should really watch this video I just found. It's by a guy called Robert IDK. He's wrote a song for you. I hit send and continued to look through his content, laughing along at some of the funny moments. You know, I that's that's nice. It's nice when people see my songs and they're like, hey, maybe this guy actually can do other things than just write music. And then they watch my gaming videos and they're like, hey, pretty funny. Good stuff, Robert. Ah. More hours had passed by and I was beginning to get a cramp in my leg. We were five minutes from the services, but my bladder was full to the brim. Uh, you know what? That's it for the Robert IDK parts. Oh, eventually Pewds responds and says, That's pretty neat. I'll watch some more stuff later. Enjoy PAX. And that's, that's all the Robert stuff. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. I thought, you know, that would be pretty cool. Ugh. So yeah, shout out to Rayma, uh, aka Five Sex of Lewis on uh, on Wattpad for uh, for putting me in. Thanks. That's cool. That's it's fun. It's fun stuff. I like I like that. This is a, it's actually a pretty popular fan fiction, so it's cool that I could uh, show up in it. I appreciate that. Anyways, this was just gonna be sort of a short video to let you guys know. So much shit is coming. It's good stuff, not shit. It's actually good. I, I hope. Lots of stuff on the way. Probably gonna film some more videos right after I finish filming this one. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Because I'm excited. Anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned. We're gonna get back to the regular uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. You can travel anywhere in the world, where would you go, and with who? I would travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. I'd go with Ash. No, no, Brock, Brock. What do you look forward to in this year? Um, 